Ooh, so there are three different types of sedimentary rock. There are clastic sedimentary rocks, there are chemical sedimentary rocks, and lastly, but in no way least, organic sedimentary rock. Ah, the first type, clastic, are sedimentary rocks that are made from fragments, or we call clasts, of rocks being stuck together. You take little itty bitty pieces, remember my paper towel light? Yeah, freeze them all together. They're going to get these chunks that are squeezed together. So we'll be looking at three different examples of that. Uh, the first of which I'll show you here is this one. Uh, this rock right here is known as shale. Uh, you saw this in lab. Shale is what we consider to be a fine-grained, clastic sedimentary rock. And what that means is that all of the little pieces in shale are very fine-grained, very small, but this rock was made from those tiny pieces being cemented together. The next rock we'll look at is conglomerate. Conglomerate is kind of the other end of the spectrum. This is a rock that is coarse-grained and clastic. And if you look at that, you can see big chunks of different things sticking out of it. Those big chunks have been cemented together. Somewhere in between is sandstone. Sandstone is what we call a medium-grained Clastic, sedimentary, rock. That's a mouthful. Medium, grained, clastic, sedimentary, rock. Very descriptive. But you can see with this one, the grains are somewhere in between. You can kind of see them, sort of. It's a little rock. So if we look at all three of those together, we see that there's a transition in grain sizes. Starting at the left is shale, which is a fine-grained, clastic, sedimentary rock. In the middle is sandstone, which is a medium-grained, clastic, sedimentary rock. And on the far right is conglomerate, a coarse-grained, clastic, sedimentary rock. So let's just go back through this. Sedimentary means that they're made from things being put together. Clastic means that they're made from chunks of rock being cemented together. And the different grain sizes would be, of course, fine-grained, medium-grained, and coarse-grained, meaning small grains medium-sized grained, and larger grain sizes. So, the next type are what are called chemical sedimentary rocks. These are a little bit more tricky to understand. So the best way that I can illustrate one of these chemical sedimentary rocks is to do a little demonstration. A little bit of sleight of hand. A little bit of magic. So if you take a look down here, Got a couple of things. First of all, got some H2O water. Right. Water, very cool. Very cool stuff, water. And also I've got here some salt. This is just normal Food Lion brand. Hmm, because Mr. Lamont loves his Food Lion. So I'm going to take some of this salt. I'm just going to open it up. I'm just going to pour some of this into there. And as anybody who drinks iced tea or has ever put salt in water before to gargle when you're sick, I'm going to start with the pencil. As you stir this up, what's going to happen to the salt? That's right, my little genius. It's going to dissolve. The salt is going to dissolve into the water, and we're going to create a solution called salt water. Doesn't taste very good. But you can see now, you really can't see the salt there anymore because it has chemically combined with the water, and it's dissolved into it, blah, 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 see, it's alive, blah. So, so now we've got a solution of salt and water. Now, if I just let this sit here, over time, the water is going to evaporate up out of it. The water is going to go away. So what would be left inside of here? I'm going to show you guys a little magic trick. I hope you're ready for this. About to blow your minds. Actually, I'm going to put this up a little bit higher so you can see it better. Put it up here. Go like that. All right. Ready for this? A little bit of sleight of hand. Oh, look at that. I have turned the salt that was in there back into salt again as a big salt crystal. This would be an example of a chemical, can't see me, don't you wish you my face? 
This would be an example of a chemical sedimentary rock because it is made from water evaporating away and the minerals that were in the water turning back into solid minerals again. Uh, this is actually one that you saw in your mineral section called halite. Ah, there's halite. Halite, also known as rock salt, uh, primarily because it is salt. This is the one that I told you that if you were to lick it, it would taste like salt, because it is salt. This is what you put on your food. Yummy. Other chemical sedimentary rocks are things like this one right here. This is limestone. Limestone. It does not taste like limes. It just tastes like a rock. But limestone is a great example of another chemical sedimentary rock, as is gypsum, which you also saw in your mineral labs. Uh, gypsum is another chemical sedimentary rock. So you look at the two of them there beside each other. You can see on the left you've got gypsum. On the right, you've got limestone, both of them formed from water evaporating and minerals being left behind. The third type of sedimentary rock is what is known as organic sedimentary rock. Uh, what this means is these rocks are made of things that used to be alive, used to be living. You can kind of think of it as these are rocks that are made from fossils, things that used to be living. This is lignite. Lignite is about 70% carbon. Uh, the carbon it gets is from the fact that it used to be a whole bunch of plants. Uh, these plants got squeezed and compressed underground, and all that carbon that was in those living things combined to form lignite. If lignite gets squeezed underground even more, it can turn into what is called bituminous coal. Bituminous coal is about 80% carbon, and if that gets compressed and kind of condensed even more, it can turn into anthracite coal, which is about 90% carbon. So taking a look at those three, those are all examples of organic sedimentary rocks. Pretty much the same thing in just three different stages of formation. Being the one on the left is about 70% carbon, lignite, 80% carbon, bituminous coal in the middle, and about 90% carbon, anthracite coal on the right. One other uh, type of organic sedimentary rock that is important to note is something that you saw earlier. What you saw earlier was something referred to as limestone. Now we said this was a chemical sedimentary rock and that is 100% true. Chemical limestone is a chemical sedimentary rock. But if that limestone was actually formed from, let's say, marine skeletons, little organisms that have died and little skeletons float down to the bottom, or corals that have died. Those are once living things. So, if that's the case, if we have limestone that is made from once living things, we can refer to it as fossiliferous limestone. In that case, it then falls under the category of organic sedimentary rock. I know what you're thinking when you're looking at this picture. Is that a baby's foot? The answer is no, it is not. That is actually a big old chunk of coral that died and got pushed underground and turned into, you guessed it, fossiliferous limestone. Another example of an organic sedimentary rock, one that used to be alive. So those are your three different types of sedimentary rocks. You've got your clastics, which are made from fragments of rock being cemented together, your chemical sedimentary rocks, which come from minerals precipitating out of solution, and lastly, your organic cemetery rocks, the ones that are made from once living things. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in class.